Well, hello everybody, my name is Bob Malkowski from iConnectivity, and in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to our wonderful software, Oracle. Uh, Oracle is an intelligent piece of software, which we've designed to provide a clean, simple, intuitive, and above all, intelligent way of controlling not only your audio and MIDI interfaces, but it also helps you get up and running as fast as possible. So here we are, here's the welcome page. Welcome to Oracle. As you can see, it's very nice and clean. Uh, at a glance, you can see it immediately shows you which interface you've got connected at any one time. Uh, I'm using here an iConnect Audio 4 Plus. It's actually what I'm using to record my voice. So you are actually hearing an Audio 4 Plus at this minute in time. The nice thing, of course, about this is it gives me a very clear visual indication of whatever's connected to the machine. So, for example, if I was to uh, connect to my machine uh, another interface, such as a Play Audio 12, uh, Oracle will look at that, and then if you give it a couple of seconds, it will pop up on screen exactly what's connected to the computer. And as we can see there, it's recognized that a Play Audio 12 has been connected and gives you, once again, a visual representation of exactly what that looks like. Uh, I'm just going to use an iConnect Audio 4 Plus for this demonstration. So if I disconnect the Play Audio 12, you'll see that after a couple of moments, it too disappears. There we go. One of the things that makes Oracle really nice and super simple is the built-in feature we've got called a setup wizard. Now, what's really great about the wizard is that if you've bought an iConnectivity interface and want to get up and running as fast as possible, I mean, who doesn't, you know? You've got home, you open up the box, there's your interface, you want to make music or get recording as quickly as possible. We came up with this thing called the setup wizard, which is designed to help you do that. So, if we click on setup wizard, we have this lovely welcome screen. Look, it even knows my name. Welcome, Bob Malkowski. Well, thank you, Oracle. That's awfully kind of you. So what's Oracle going to do? It's going to find out about my system. The setup wizard's going to ask a number of questions and present a few setup examples in order to help us get configured as quickly as possible. The first thing Oracle does is show you exactly where to plug your audio leads. So let's click Next, and here we are, Connect Audio Outputs. It gives us a really nice, clean, visual representation of where we need to plug all our leads, headphones, accessories, etc. Really takes the guesswork out of knowing if you've plugged your studio monitors in correctly. Believe me, it happens to the best of us. So, the next thing is we can move on to the speaker test. Simply follow the instructions on screen. Make sure your speakers are connected to audio outputs one and two, that they turn on and the level is turned up to a midway point, exactly as the previous screen told us to do. What we then do is click on Start Speaker Test. And as you may be able to hear, we have a test tone. That means that the interface is connected correctly to my studio monitors. Fantastic. Okay, so we know we've got that. So I can tell that to be quiet. And let's move on to the headphone test. Now I don't have a pair of headphones connected at the moment, but if I did, and if they're connected to the socket on the back, we can do exactly the same. Move the level up. Have we got anything in the headphones? Got the tone in your cans? Excellent. Then let's move on. Let's move on to setting up our door. Now's the time for selecting which door you're going to be using with your interface. A lot of our interfaces offer you the choice of connecting to two different computers. Um, this page asks which computer you want to use. So, as an example, I have a spare laptop connected to my iConnect Audio 4 Plus. That's currently showing as device connected to USB 1 because, well, Unsurprisingly, I've got that connected to USB 1. It doesn't have to be difficult, does it? Uh, I'm currently using this Mac. Uh, in fact, this is what you're hearing me through at the moment. So I'm going to leave that selected as this Mac. 
but it's nice to have the option that at this stage we can choose whichever we are going to use as our door. Let's move on to setting up our devices. The final page gives you the option of configuring your MIDI devices. DIN 1 is the inbuilt DIN MIDI interface on the iConnect Audio 4 Plus I'm using here. Uh, I currently have connected my long-suffering old 90s workstation keyboard and like most hardware keyboards it comprises of both uh, a built-in MIDI controller which is the keyboard itself and also a sound module. Uh, that means that it both transmits and receives MIDI information uh, and so I'm going to leave both of those selected there. Um, it's important to get this right at this stage because this is what your uh, your door, whether whatever software you're using, will recognize these names and set up within it. Um, let's say I've got a USB MIDI device. Uh, now a lot of our interfaces have a USB MIDI host port. So for example, the iConnect Audio 4 Plus I have has a USB MIDI port around the back. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a controller keyboard. And there you can see is that I've plugged that in. It's rightly identifying that that's an Arturia Mini Lab, which is splendid. Um, the Arturia Mini Lab is just a controller keyboard. So that doesn't receive MIDI. It doesn't need to. It's got no built-in sound module or anything that will benefit really from receiving MIDI. So I'm going to deselect that and then I'm pretty much ready to go. So now we click that. Complete setup. Great job. Your gear is now ready to use. And that is literally all that you need to do to ensure that your audio interface and all your peripheral equipment is set up perfectly. Let's make some noise. Thank you very much for joining me on this demo of Icon Activities Oracle and the wizard setup. Uh, hope to join you again on another tutorial video. In the meantime, go out there and make some noise. Thanks a lot. Bye bye for now.